Eh, hey, sema hai basi. Hai, asalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. <laughs> Our sister makuja mtafilia mzee wake the best kanzu. Only the best in Mombasa. Inshallah Allah tubariki sote. Sote. Tujalie khairi. Amin. Inshallah tuone Eid kwa salama inshallah. Amin. Super. Baraka Lanka fam. As a single mother of three children in Mombasa, Eid started so early for me. I had to wake up so early, wash my girl's hair. Guys, it's a long story. The day before today, we were told that it's not Eid. And then suddenly by midnight, everybody's calling my phone telling me, yo, tomorrow is Eid. So I had to like, it was like a crash landing, my friend. Like it was hectic, it was all over the place, but I was on my energizer bunny mode, you know? Hey, <laughs> get the kids dressed up, wash their hair, like, you know, get myself cleaned up. The house was a mess by the time we left, but who cares? My car was not even washed. Guys, I had to wake up before the kids and wash my car. Yes, I had to wash my car by myself. That, that's something I've not done in like almost 20 years of my life. So, yeah, you can imagine the hecticity of this all. <laughs> like, any, you know, at the moment, it doesn't feel so exhausting. You just feel the exhaustion afterwards. And yeah, the girls are already dressed. And now I'm getting ready. I didn't do much. I just put some mascara, a blush, some lipstick. And off we went to the mosque, guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. My fellow parents, you understand that there's not just leaving the house. You can't just let, just dress up and just leave the house. It just doesn't happen that way. If you have kids, it's a whole ritual. Mimi niliambua prayers ni saa moja. Na niliamka karibu saa kumi na nusu. But here we are. Still, we are rushing. Yani, it's just never enough time. So, hapo, I was just arranging my car carpets because I had washed the car early in the morning and I was locking up the house. Hiya, guys. To gain any... Hi guys, so we managed to get from the mosque to my relative's house. 
this is where we're gonna have breakfast and I'm just gonna spice up spice up my outfit before I come out of the car I didn't have enough time to do nothing I didn't even do my eyebrows so. so I'm just gonna unbraid this so that I can get like a kishogi like a has to be play around with it kidogo next i'm gonna change my shoes because i'm wearing flat shoes because of the mask i was wearing uh, these sandals i'm gonna put on some heels because it's eating oh. what am i going to do next to spice up my outfit is i'm going to have my red chanel bag yo that's where i'm gonna put my phone and whatever my ed by the way, if you want to give me ED, eh? feel free. Nakipo chichi. If you meet me on the road, give me ED, okay? <laughs> By the time you watch this, ED would have been already over. So that's my bag, matching my dress, matching my lipstick. The, the lipstick, lipstick you see, see over, over here, here is actually, it's actually Vaseline. Okay. Oh, yes, this is much better. It's giving rich anti vibes. What do you think? This is where my grandma used to stay, but she passed away last year. Allah ya hamha. Ah, let's go, guys.
Sri Lanka farm, halfway through the day, Aisha started feeling sick and she started throwing up and getting really weak and I had to rush her to the hospital. And there's a bug that's going on in Mombasa right now because it's getting uh, into monsoon season whereby it starts raining. So many kids get affected and Aisha being one of them. She's doing fine now as you guys are watching this. Alhamdulillah, she's doing much better now. But yo... It kind of killed the whole Eid vibe because, you know, that's my baby girl, y'all. Anyways, guys, um, back to the Eid vlog.
come to the end of this vlog my kids are getting so agitated right now it's it's 10 15 and we're going home i hope you enjoyed this vlog and i hope you have an Eid Mubarak to everyone who's celebrating all the Muslims out there I love you all bye